Hello. I'll present the NTT variant used in Kyber. This NTT variant is only slightly different from the one used in Dilithium. The number theoretic transform used in Kyber is slightly different from the one used in Dilithium. The reason for the difference is the following. Both Kyber and Dilithium use the parameter n equals 256. The Dilithium prime q has a property that q minus 1 is divisible by 2 times n. However, the Kyber prime q equals 3329 is divisible by n, but not by 2n. Because of this, the Dilithium NTT has to be modified to work for the Kyber polynomial ring. The modification, as we'll see, is essentially to prune one level from the Dilithium NTT tree. I'll present the main ideas of the Kyber NTT, but I'll skip some details since the Kyber NTT is quite similar to the Dilithium NTT. Kyber NTT is a function from the polynomial ring RQ to the set TQ, which will be defined later. The NTT is invertible. To multiply polynomials A and B in RQ, one first computes A hat, the NTT of A, and B hat, the NTT of B. Then one computes the NTT C hat of the product of A hat and B hat. As we will see, this multiplication is component-wise in QI, which will be defined later. Finally, compute the NTT inverse of C hat to get the desired product C. The overall time is big O of n log n. I'll next define the NTT. Let n be a power of 2, and let q be a prime number such that q minus 1 is divisible by n, and q minus 1 isn't divisible by 2n. Kyber has n equals 256 and prime 3329, with q minus 1 being 256 times 13. Let zeta be an element of order n in the integers modulo q. And note that zeta to the power n over 2 equals minus 1. Now, for odd integers i between 1 and n minus 1, the polynomial x squared minus zeta to the i is irreducible over zq. So it doesn't factor into a product of two linear polynomials. I've written the proof of this claim here. You can read the proof as an optional exercise. Let n be a power of 2, and let q be a prime number, such that q minus 1 is divisible by n, but not by 2n. Let zeta be an element of order n in the integers modulo q. For odd integers i between 1 and n minus 1, define qi to be the set of polynomials over zq having degree at most 1, and where polynomial multiplication is performed modulo the quadratic polynomial x squared minus zeta to the i. qi is called a quadratic ring. Elements in qi can be represented by their coefficients so as a pair of zq elements. Let tq be the product of the n over 2 rings q1, q3, q5, up to qn minus 1. The NTT of a polynomial A in RQ is defined to be the vector A hat, obtained by reducing A modulo the n over 2 quadratic polynomials x squared minus zeta, x squared minus zeta cubed, up to x squared minus zeta to the power n minus 1. I'll state as a fact that the NTT is a ring isomorphism, and so is invertible. Addition of entity vectors is component-wise. Now, let A and B be polynomials of degree at most n minus 1 in RQ. And let C be their product, modulo x to the n plus 1. Then, we can write C as A times B plus L times x to the n plus 1 for some polynomial L. 
reducing the right side modulo x squared minus zeta to the i, where i is odd, yields a to the x times b to the x mod x squared minus zeta to the i. The l times x to the n plus 1 term becomes 0 because the reduction of x to the n plus 1 modulo x squared minus zeta to the i can be obtained by first replacing x squared by zeta to the i. Hence, x to the n, which is x squared to the power n over 2, becomes zeta to the i to the power n over 2, which is minus 1 since i is odd. This shows that multiplication of entity vectors is component-wise. For concreteness, let's take q to be the prime 137, n to be 8, and note that n divides q minus 1, whereas 2n doesn't. The polynomial ring Rq under consideration is a set of polynomials of degree at most 7, with coefficients from the integers modulo 137. Polynomial multiplication is performed modulo the reduction polynomial x to the 8 plus 1. I'll describe a recursive algorithm for computing the Kyber-like number theoretic transform for this particular ring. The algorithm can be extended to the general case, including for the Kyber polynomial ring. The element 0 equals 10 has order 8 in the integers modulo 137. Hence, zeta to the fourth equals minus one. Now, x to the eight plus one can be written as x to the eight minus zeta to the fourth. This difference of squares can be factored as x to the fourth minus zeta squared times x to the fourth plus zeta squared. Zeta squared is equal to minus zeta to the sixth, since zeta to the fourth equals minus one. So now we have two differences of squares, each of which can be factored to give this product of four quadratics, which can be rewritten like this. To compute the entity of a polynomial A, we need to reduce A modulo each of these four quadratic factors. We'll do this recursively using the result from slide 145. If f divides g, then A modulo f can be determined by first computing a modulo g and then dividing the resulting remainder by f. So we'll first reduce a modulo these two degree 4 polynomials. And finally, we'll reduce the two remainders modulo these four degree 2 polynomials. Here is the entity algorithm for the polynomial ring defined on the previous slide. To compute entity of A, we first compute the remainders A0 and A1 upon division of A by these two degree four factors of x to the 8 plus 1. I've labeled the left branch of this entity tree with a 0 and the right branch with a 1. We then compute the remainder A0, 0 of a0 divided by x squared minus zeta, the remainder a0 1 of a0 divided by x squared plus zeta, the remainder a1 0 of a1 divided by x squared minus zeta cubed, and the remainder a1 1 of a1 divided by x squared plus zeta cubed. To conclude, the results of step 2 are rearranged to get the entity result. The rearrangement is done because the standard entity definition uses the consecutive odd powers of zeta. The polynomial divisions can be performed in a similar manner as for the dilithium NTT. I'll do an example soon. Let's evaluate the running time of the NTT algorithm. Suppose that n is a power of 2. Let Tn be the time to compute entity of A. Then, as with the case of the dilithium entity, we have the following recursive formula for T of n. T of n equals 2 times T of n over 2 plus n. The solution to the recursion is T of n equals big O of n log n, 
which is the running time of the Kyber NTT algorithm. Recall that TQ is a product of these n over 2 quadratic rings, where QI is a ring of polynomials over ZQ, modulo the quadratic polynomial x squared minus zeta to the i. Addition and multiplication in TQ is performed component-wise. So the addition of the ith components in two vectors in TQ is a0 plus b0 plus a1 times b1x. And the multiplication of the ith components a0 plus a1x and b0 plus b1x in two vectors in TQ is this quadratic polynomial, which upon replacing x squared plus zeta to the i gives this polynomial of degree at most 1. Let's do an NTT computation. We'll work in the Kyber-like ring RQ of polynomials over Z137 modulo x to the 8 plus 1. Here, Q equals 137 and N is 8. Note that N divides Q minus 1, but 2N doesn't. Zeta equals 10 is an element of order 8 in the integers modulo 137. Let A and B be these degree 7 polynomials over Z137. We wish to compute their product, modulo x to the 8 plus 1. We first compute a hat, the entity of a. al is the left half of a, and ar is its right half, after factoring out the term x to the fourth. We then compute a0, which is a modulo x to the fourth minus zeta squared. Now al and ar have degree less than 4, so they are already reduced modulo x to the fourth minus zeta squared. So, to reduce a modulo x to the fourth minus zeta squared, we only need to replace the x to the fourth term by zeta squared, and we obtain a0. Similarly, to reduce a modulo x to the fourth plus zeta squared, we replace x to the fourth by minus zeta squared and obtain a1. Next, we reduce a0 modulo x squared minus zeta to get a0, 0. reduce a0 modulo x squared plus zeta to get a0, 1. reduce a1 modulo x squared minus zeta cubed to get a1, 0. and reduce a1 modulo x squared plus zeta cubed to get a1, 1. Thus, the entity of a is this sequence of degree 1 polynomials, namely a0, 0, a1, 0, a0, 1, and a1, 1. Here is the entity of B. And here is the entity of C, obtained by the component-wise multiplication of the entities of A and B. For example, the product of the first components is 82 plus 135x times 45x. This product is performed in the quadratic ring Q1, which is z137 of x modulo x squared minus zeta, where zeta equals 10. The product is 82 times 45 times x plus 135 times 45 times x squared. Now, 82 times 45 modulo 137 is 128 and 135 times 45 modulo 137 is 47. Finally, we replace x squared by 10 to get 59 plus 128x. The inverse entity of C hat is this degree 7 polynomial, which you can check is a product of a and b modulo x to the 8 plus 1. The number theoretic transform is used to perform multiplication of polynomials in Kyber. All three Kyber parameter sets have q equals 3329, n equals 256, and the element zeta equals 17 of order 256. The entity used in Kyber is slightly different from the one described earlier. In the standard definition, the polynomial a is evaluated 
modulo the quadratic polynomials x squared minus zeta to the i as i ranges over the odd numbers from 1 to 511 in that order. In the Kyber entity definition, the powers of zeta are permuted to be in the same order as the leaves of the entity tree. For the case n equals 8, the modified entity definition is entity of a equals a modulo x squared minus zeta, a modulo x squared minus zeta to the fifth, a modulo x squared minus zeta cubed, a modulo x squared minus zeta to the seventh. For the case n equals 256 in Kyber, the modified entity can be conveniently defined as follows. For integers v between 0 and 127, let bit rev v denote the 7-bit integer obtained by reversing the 7-bit binary representation of v. For i between 0 and 127, let zeta i be zeta to the power 2 times bit rev of i plus 1 modulo q. Then the entity of a is defined to be this vector. The reason for this ordering of the zeta i's is that it facilitates an in-place computation of the Kyber entity and its inverse. Like the dilithium NTT, the Kyber NTT and its inverse can be computed in place. The in place algorithms are described in FIPS 203. The number theoretic transform is an integral part of Kyber and is used in key generation, encryption, and decryption. Here's how it's used in key generation. First note that the entity can be naturally extended to polynomial vectors and matrices of polynomials by applying the entity to each polynomial. To avoid many applications of NTT and its inverse when computing A times S, the matrix A is generated in entity form itself. So the expand A function expands the seed row to a matrix, each of whose entries is a random length 256 vector whose entries are integers modulo q. Next, polynomial vectors s and e are selected according to a central binomial distribution, and the entities of s and e are computed. Note that s and e cannot be randomly selected in entity form itself, since the coefficients of polynomials in s and e are restricted. Next, t hat is computed by multiplying a hat and s hat and adding e hat. All these computations use the NTT form. Alice's public key is comprised of a hat and t hat. Her private key is s hat.